Hello there, Leos, and welcome back for another tarot reading. Today, Leo, your reading is going to be about who is missing Leo. Leo said everybody missing Leo. After all, I'm the king of the jungle. So we're going to let the cards say who is missing you, Leo. Now, Leo, I have a seven card spread here, and I have clarified each and every one of these cards here. And also, this is a general reading, Leo, so it may or may not resonate with you, Leo, so just take the part that fits, discard the rest, because it only means that this is not the reading for you at this time. However, I am still offering the 2020 20 minutes for $20 personal reading. So if you're interested in that, check out the description box below. So Leo, your person, whoever this is, I don't know. I'm just telling you what the cards say, Leo. But the first card, we have the Six of Pentacles here. Now the Six of Pentacles, Leo, is Earth Energy. This is Tur uh, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn's energy. This is uh, materialistic, earthly things here. This is the merchant being generous here. Uh, but it's also the merchant being generous and giving more than one here. So it's almost as if your person, uh, I don't know if your person wants to have an equal give and take between the two of you, or your person felt like you were given somewhere else here. So when we clarify... So I feel like your person must want, want to be, I feel like your person wants you, Leo, but they want it to be an equal give and take. They don't want you to be giving nowhere else and leaving them short. Because you see the merchant ain't got to the other person where they dropping crumbs or whatever they dropping. They giving it all to that one person while the other person looking like, damn, where mine at? So when we clarify your six of pentacles, Leo, we have the page of wands. Now this is your energy, Leo, Sagittarius and Aries. This is a page where this, most pages are messengers here. So this is a very young, explorative, just want to have fun, energy, passionate, or is this passionate communication here? So your person may want to reach out, but they want you, they want this to be a fair, equal, give and take connection. And they may want to reach out to you, or they may be hoping that you reach out to them, but balance this time. So it's almost as if your person wants to reach out to you or your person wants you to reach out to them, but bring balance this time. Be fair, reciprocity, equal, give and take. Don't just... Don't just be giving all out to other folks. Give to this connection here. So your next card, Leo, you have the Six of Wands here. This is more of your energy, Leo, Sagittarius and Aries energy here. This is victory. This is recognition. Um, this is um, rising above here. So I feel like your person wants victory. Your person wants you guys to come back together here, victory. I mean, uh, Leo. Uh, because this is this is fire energy, but this is successful energy here. Your person wants it to work out in their favor. So when we clarify your six of wands, we have the eight of pentacles here. So either your person wants you to work on this, help come back and work on this connection, Leo, or your person wants victory working with you on this connection. Because the eight of pentacles is earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn's energy. is 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 working on your crafts, mastering your crafts, and also representing willing willing to uh, work on something so your person might want victory on you guys working together in order to come back together here so your next card leo we have justice here so leo you could be dealing with the libra here but this is balance this is reciprocity this is balancing the scales so you know in order for the scales to be balanced it has to be equal you know can't be no 20 30 can't be no 40 60 it's got to be the 50 50 love. Yeah, it's got to be the 50 50 love, Leo. <laughs> this is what your person said, okay? <laughs> so they want, they want fairness. They feel like you haven't treated them fair in the past. Or maybe your person feel like they haven't treated you fairly in the past. But they want it balanced. They want, uh, they want you guys to come back together. And they want it to be a balanced relationship. They want fairness here. So when we clarify your justice card, Leo, we have the star card. Now, this is Aquarius energy here, the star card here. So this is healing, and um, this star card represents hope, healing, inspiration, uh, rebirth, uh, wishing on a star. So this person could be wishing that you guys come back together um, fairly, you know, because somebody wasn't treating someone fairly in this connection. But it looks like your parent, your person wants you guys to heal it. Your person wants healing to take place so that you guys can come back the right way. And justice brings it balance. It brings in balance and it brings in uh, the balanced relationship here. So your person could be hoping that there could be some healing between the two of you, Leo. 
So the next card you have, Leo, your person, whoever this is, is the Two of Swords energy here. So this is air energy. This is Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius's energy. This is mental energy here. Air is energy. Uh, uh, air is mental energy here. So this is your person. Either they feel like you need to make a decision, Leo, or your person is needing to make a decision. But this is this person has a, a band-aid, a scarf around their head, like they don't know what to do because you got two choices here. But this person is in a self-imposed mental thing here. All they got to do is say yay and nay and keep it pushing here. So I feel like your person is in a dilemma here. Your person feels like they need to make a decision or your person feels like you need to make a decision, Leo. Because when we clarify the two of swords, we have the eight of swords. So your person is either stuck in their head pertaining to you, Leo, or your person feel like you're stuck on a situation and this is why you're not making a decision because you're already stuck somewhere. And this Eight of Swords is more air energy, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. This is feeling restricted, feeling stuck, feeling like you can't move on here. So your person may feel like you're not uh, wanting to heal this connection because you're already stuck somewhere. This is why you're not making a decision. Now, like I said, Leo, the person could be feeling like this is you being stuck or your person may feel like you're stuck in their thoughts and they're not going to make a cho choice about you, Leo. So now your next card, Leo, we have the Queen of Cups here. So you could be dealing with the water sound of Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces energy. So this, this uh, water energy wants to pour in their love to you. They're trying to offer you their cup of love, Leo. Either this person wants to offer you their cup of love or they want you to offer your cup of love. But I feel like your person wants to offer their cup of love with, to you because obviously this person is in love with you, Leo, here. So this is someone uh, very highly intuitive, very emotional, very loving, very nurturing energy, highly psychic, highly intuitive. And yes, the Queen of Cups wears her fucking heart on her sleeves and you would know that you're dealing with the Queen of Cups. So when we clarify the Queen of Cups, we have the Queen of Pentacles here. So we got two queens here. Now, either this, these, this, both of these queens is the same energy of this person. Your person may be saying not only can they give you emotional fulfillment or not only do they want you to accept their cup, but they also want to be your queen of pentacles. That means that they want to build something with you. Because remember, your person first started out in this six of pentacles feeling like that there wasn't an equal give and take that you were given somewhere else. So I feel like ultimately your person may feel like that they want your love but they also want stability with you. They want you to wife them down and make them an honest person here. You know, they they got their emotions, but they said that they're, they're a good reliable because the queen of pentacles is earth energy. She has a king of pentacles. She has a husband. The queen of pentacles is labeled as a very good, reliable um, person to settle down with because they take good care of the matters of the home, the light bill, they feed the dog, they do everything. Then they know how to lay down in this Queen of Cups energy and spread their legs wide open. You feel me? So it's like your person is trying to tell you, Leo, that they are every fucking woman. Do you hear me? They say that they, they the every woman for you, Leo. So your next card, Leo, we have the Four of Pentacles here, which is more Earth energy. Leo, uh, Libra, uh, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn's energy here. Now, this is keeping something close to your chest. Now, it also represents having it and being confident here. But something your person is not releasing here. Your person is keeping something. They're holding on to something they're not letting go of. And what they're not letting go is funny. Your person is funny, Leo, whoever this is. Because when we clarify the four pentacles, we get that two of swords again. We got the two of swords. So this must be your person over here feeling like they need to... Uh, it's like your person wants, wants to come back with you, but they're in their head about it. They feel like they don't know what to do because I feel like this person is jonesing over you. This person has a lot of emotions for you. But at the same time, they feel like they, they don't know whether to choose you or to not. Because I feel like this person feels like if they choose you, they're going to be stuck in their head here. So here your person is not letting go because they're not going to choose. This person is holding on to not choosing here. They're not saying yes. They're not saying no. They're just not saying shit here. This is your person here. They're not letting you go because it feels like this person is really holding on to your energy. Although they're not moving forward. It seems like they want you to move forward. Although they want victory with you, but they're not going to make a move. So your last card, uh, Leo, we have the Six of Cups. 
Now, this is Scorpio Cancer and Pisces energy here. This is past life connection here. This is childhood. This is uh, nostalgia. This is reminiscing, uh, thinking about the past or the past revisiting here. So I don't know if your person is thinking about coming back to the past here or your person wants you to come back, but I feel like your person, this must be a person from your past, Leo, because they want to come back to you, but they want to come back with fairness and they want this to be a balanced connection. They don't want you giving nowhere else. They want you to just give them because after all, Leo, this person said that they every woman, you feel me? They, they could be a lady in the streets and be a freak in the sheets. You, you see, there'd be a lady in the streets, but a freak in the streets, Leo. This is what your person's saying. So ultimately, your person wants to come back because your person feel like you guys have a past life connection. Your person feel like you guys are kind of like soulmates. So when we clarify the six of cups, we get... The four of wands here. This is your energy, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries energy here. Now, this four of wands is celebratory energy. They're trying to come back and, and make a house a home here. They want harmony between the two of you. They want to celebrate and have a good time. But it's like they, they want commitment with you, Leo. This is what your person wants. They want commitment with you because, like I say, you're stuck in this person's head anyway. You're stuck in this person's head and they ain't gonna they ain't gonna try to remove you out their head, but they're not trying to move forward. But ultimately this person does want to come back here because they want a commitment with you. So, you know, the card underneath the bottom of the deck, and I have to show you this, is the lover's card here. So I feel like your person miss you miss you sexually. And uh the lover's card along with the six of cups. It's showing me that there is a strong spiritual connection between the two of you. So I feel like this person is a, a, a very strong push and pull with this person here. They try not to think about the good old loving Leo, but I feel like they keep on being drawn back to you, Leo, here. So Leo, this has been your reading. So if it resonates with you, please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, and I will talk to you on the next video. Bye, Leo.